hello welcome in this video I'm going to show you how to plot the ID versus VGS curve of a MOSFET in a previous video I have shown you how to plot ID versus the drain current of a MOSFET this was the setup that was used for that purpose for that purpose I have used the DC sweep across the drain to source voltage and a parametric analysis across the gate to source voltage to obtain the drain to source versus drain to source voltage the previous setup was this the DC sweep was done across the VDS this was the values that was set and for the parametric analysis you can see that I have put the value of X to B5 a random value it can be anything and this X is given as a second bracket in the value of gate to source voltage of the N type MOSFET now if you go to the parametric analysis you can see I have chosen the global parameter and the parameter name is this X and I have given some certain values so I'll be converting this circuit into ID versus VGS curve of the MOSFET now this was a breakout device for this ID versus VGS curve of the MOSFET I will be choosing a rather practical MOSFET such as this one IRF150 it can be found on the library so let's use this so I am changing this circuit I am just replacing the MOSFET with a practical rather practical MOSFET now as I have changed this one let's call it as a schematic 3 a different one and save so again I'm going to see the drain current so now I don't need the parametric analysis I will remove this analysis so I will fix a drain to source voltage say for this purpose I'm going to do that the DC voltage I'm choosing to be 4 a rough value drain to source value whereas the gate to source voltage I'm choosing it as 5 volt again a rough value because I'll be varying this gate to source voltage so now I don't need the parametric analysis so just remove this one and edit the DC sweep instead of the drain to source that was done in the previous example I'm going to do it on this V1 So it's V1, you can see. So the value I'll be starting with is 0, and the increment will be 0.1, and the end value is 5. Let's make the end value to be 7 or higher. You can take it now. Press OK. So again, it is in the linear 0 to 7, increment 0.1 and this is a voltage source V1 is the get to source voltage now let's close this and save this now let's simulate now the simulation is ready as you can see the ID is in this region and the VG is in this region or in the X axis but it is nowhere close to what we have seen so in order to do that we need to make this figure in a logarithmic scale the y axis so in order to do that just click on the figure make a right click go to settings and now the current is in the y-axis so choose y-axis now 
select the log scale log and the data range to be a very small value to 28 amperes was probably the maximum value it has automatically selected see that you cannot give zero because when you will try to do that this will pop up that it cannot be zero rather give a small value sorry that was a mistake one micro so log scale this is in the y axis now let's see see that now the desired curve nature is in front of us so this is this represents the cutoff state this is the saturation state of the MOSFET and this is known as the linear or triad reason of the MOSFET. Thank you for watching this video.